Okay, so here are the bones. We got them in pot, and here's how we're gonna make a bone broth. I'm gonna put enough water in here to cover the bones. There are lots of different ways to make the bone broth. I'm doing it on the stove top. Because the bones broke apart yesterday when Dad massaged the chicken, I don't have a big carcass like I usually do. I'm just like about an inch at least over the bones. I'm going to use some poultry seasoning. I'm going to do maybe that was about forty shakes. I'm also going to add. I'm going to use sea salt, any salt will probably do, but I prefer not to use the iodized salt because it does leave a metallic flavor. Be generous on that. I'm going to bring it to a boil. I'm going to reduce the heat and let it simmer, covered for at least an hour, probably more, and then I will strain it to get the bones out and keep the broth. It will probably need additional seasoning after that. Probably more salt, maybe some bouillon, before I throw in the vegetables and chicken and whatever else I'm gonna do with it. After you start the heat, to heat up the pot on high, set a timer for about 15 minutes. That's how long it's gonna to take to boil. Remember, once it boils, lower the heat to simmer, cover it. Okay, so the broth has been cooking, has been simmering for how long? Two hours. Two hours. And now it is time to strain it. The first thing I'm gonna do is take out the big chunks that I can get with just tongs. It will probably take multiple bowls, so I've set the strainer in the biggest bowl first. Put these in smaller containers and then freeze them. So let them cool off before you put them in the freezer, maybe like 20 minutes. When you're ready to unfreeze them, you can add salt, a little more salt, bouillon if you want, veggies, shredded chicken, pasta, and you make a delicious meal. Well, this amount of broth right here from a single rotisserie chicken can translate into six, seven, eight meals. Easily.